prayer for sin. We stand before your Holy Spirit as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts, teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful, do not let us promote disorder, do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to eternal life, and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. The in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Welcome, brothers and sisters, to this Mass for the seventh day in the octave of Christmas. We come into God's presence, as always, aware of our faults and failings, and so we ask him for his forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and the Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. On this feast day we say the glory together. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the nativity of your Son established the beginning and fulfilment of all religions, grant we pray that we may be numbered among those who belong to him, in whom is the fullness of human salvation. We live and reign with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. St. John. Children, these are the last days. You were told that an Antichrist must come, and now several Antichrists have already appeared. You know from this that these are the last days. <coughs> Those rivals of Christ came out of your own number, but they have never really belonged. If they had belonged, they would have stayed with us, but they left us to prove that not one of them ever belonged to us. But you have been anointed by the Holy One and have all received the knowledge. It is not because you do not know the truth that I am writing to you, but rather because you know it already and know that no lie can come from the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response, the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. O oh, sing a new song to the Lord, sing to the Lord all the earth. O oh, sing to the Lord, bless his name, proclaim his heart day by day. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he comes, 
it goes through the earth. And then the heaven rejoices and never be glad. We trust that he will rule the world, he will judge the peoples with his truth. Let the heavens rejoice and earth be glad. Alleluia, Alleluia. The word behind flesh and brought the forest. To all who see him, we get power to become the children of God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things came to be. Not one thing had it been, but through him. All that came to be had life in him, and that life was the light of men, a light that shined in the dark, a light that darkness could not overpower. A man came, sent by God. His name was John. He came as a witness, as a witness to speak for the light, so that everyone might believe through him. He was not the light, only a witness to speak for the light. The Word was the true light that enlightens all men, and he was coming into the world. He was in the world that had its being through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own domain, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To all who believe in the name of him who was born not out of human stock or urge of the flesh, or will of man, but of God himself. The word was made flesh and lived among us, and we saw his glory, the glory that is his as the only Son of the Father, full of grace and truth. John appears as his witness. He proclaims, this is the one of whom I said, he who comes after me ranks before me, because he existed before me. Indeed, from his fullness we have all of us received, yes, grace in return for grace. Since, though the law was given through Moses, grace and truth come through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. It is the only Son who is nearest to the Father's heart who has made him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Precious Lord. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord. Mass is offered today for the repose of the soul of George Francis Simmons, who was my grandfather. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, Graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our minds, and so that, we, as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible, and so with angels and dark angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory. As without end we are paid. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, they take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples. They take this, all of you, and drink from it, for well, this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking off the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Mark our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servant George, whom you call from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Michael the Archangel, our patron, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. To say this command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Let us offer one another the sign. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter the Son of my order, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. Let us pray. May your people, O Lord, whom you guide and sustain in many ways, experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow, that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they may strive with ever deepened trust for things eternal, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with the Lord. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended, go in peace. Thanks to be each other. The anthem to our Mother of Christ, hail thou thy people's cry, star of the deep and poor blue sky. Mother of him who thee from nothing made, thinking we strive and call to thee for aid. O oh, by thy joy which Gabriel brought to thee, thou virgin first and last, let us thy mercy see.